All right, so it's Friday, September 16th. On our way to the Mad River Million Dollar Guarantee. This is flight one. I believe they're having 10 flights, two flights a day. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend, and then next weekend on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the final table will be on Monday. This will be my, I believe, my fifth tournament with a million dollar or more prize pool. Um, I have cashed in several. Uh, it's exciting because it's always a new experience. Um, if you're watching this, you're watching my first vlog, and. Uh, kind of here. I'm excited about uh, the tournament today. So it's a million dollar guarantee. It's a $600 buy-in. Great value. Uh, 50000 in uh, starting chips. And then uh, and then 30 minute levels. So as far as $600 goes for a $200,000 first prize guarantee, um, you really can't beat it. Some people like bounty tournaments. I love bounty tournaments, don't get me wrong. But um, if it were up to me, it'd be a freeze out uh, every time. This is a re entry tournament as many times as you want. Um, bag after your first day, you get a $1,000 bonus. And if you bag two days or more, you get an additional $3,000 per day you bag. So uh, there's going to be several people that probably bag more than, uh, more than once. Um, I would expect there's probably going to be about 150 players this afternoon. Uh, by the time it's all said and done, and, and the buy-in stop for the uh, the day. There's a turbo at eight o'clock tonight, so I think they're expecting to be finished with this day. Probably, if I had to guess, um, around that time, maybe 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. On you know, just not sure how many people are going to be there. This is at a card club, it's not a casino, so a little bit different. Um, in some ways, they're run better than casino poker rooms. Um, I play at the Horseshoe here in Indianapolis, and um, there's some great people that uh, that work in the, the poker room, that help run the poker room, but unfortunately, the casino leadership struggles to uh, attract players um, in a lot of ways. The difference, uh, the, the different number of games that, that can be played, the, the um, different variations. Um, they just started the seven card stud game, um, but PLO is really popular. Love PLO. Um, been a pretty good PLO player, um, both cash and in tournaments. Um, I have yet to make that big uh, that big score, at least since I was younger. I won a $12,000 tournament when I was uh, when I was younger. Um, didn't know what I was doing compared to today. Um, still by no means have it all figured out. I study, I learn, um, you know, I track hands, um, situations specifically with those hands. And uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. I dropped a few other videos um, when I first started the channel. Uh, they were of my experience at the Million Dollar Bounty Tournament in Vegas this past summer. I spent six weeks in Vegas um, living, breathing, eating, drinking poker, um, didn't party. Uh, my wife came out for the last two weeks. We had a great time, but I was out there for poker. I got a lot of rest, uh, played late. Uh, I cashed in four World uh, four World Series events, cashed in a couple of others at the Win and at the MGM. Um, had a great cash game experience in the Kings Lounge at 510. Uh, I even played some 2550. Um, definitely out of my element there with the uh, the uh, the limit. 
habits and really stepping out of my comfort range a little bit. Had a good session with the 2550. Had some great sessions with 510. Um, did have a, a bad one at 510, but uh, I recognized, you know, kind of what I had done and, and um, where I had made a mistake. And, and I, I plugged that leak pretty quick and, and went back at it. Uh, had some good 2.5 sessions, some big O sessions. Um, played in the 2040 mix game one day. That was uh, that was quite the experience. Um, so got to play with a lot of pros. Uh, played the main event against Joe Cata, Jeffrey Lissandro, uh, Jackie Wong. Uh, just the nicest guy. Great player. Uh, really applies pressure. Uh, uh, Chance Cornuth uh, on day one of the main uh, the entire day until he busted. Um, no reflection of, of how he played. He he got picked off pretty good by by this really good player to my left. I was sitting in between the two most aggressive players at the table, so uh, it, was a, it was a bit of a tough day, especially my first main event uh, navigating um, all of the, the hurdles uh, in addition to just the, the the level of poker that was, was being played at, at some of the tables I was at. Um, so, yeah. Had a, had a great experience in Vegas. Uh, I've been doing very well at my local casino. Um, cashed in the Cincinnati Hard Rock main event. Uh, had over just under 700 players and uh, went out 31st. Um, could have made a deeper run, and I'm definitely working on that. Uh, playing some more tournaments, uh, trying to see more hands and situations. And, stack sizing and, and so forth so uh, really really trying to earn my my stripes in the game uh, I know a lot of players <laughs> that I've met and spoken with you know they've said the same thing you know it just doesn't happen overnight for most people and uh, I've been playing a long time but not devoting time and energy to my game like I do now so But today is at the Mad River Card Club in Dayton, Ohio, and also Deep Stacks. A couple of uh, card clubs in Dayton, Ohio that uh, operate. And, you know, from everything I've heard, they, they do a great job. I'm excited to get over there today and check it out. Um, like I said, they run all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Take a break Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then back on next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, it, it'll be interesting to see the turnout and the level of play. Uh, a lot of people that I've spoken with here in Indianapolis have said that they're going to be making their way out for at least not one session, multiple. Um, so yeah, pretty exciting to to see what uh, what what's going on and how good the poker is over here in Dayton. Uh, I have a feeling I'll see a lot of people from Cincinnati uh, as the Hard Rock has some great events and they run a great room. But um, when you've got a million dollar guarantee, that's going to draw that's going to draw some 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 players in. Um, we've got uh, we've got the WPT Championship coming up in December that I'll be going to uh, a little bit later on this year. Uh, I, ha I haven't made any of the plans to go to any of the tournaments yet. I probably will be playing more next year, traveling more next year than I did this year. Um, but I'll tell you, spending six weeks in Vegas was an eye-opening experience. I'd never been there for more than four days at a time. And so when you spend that kind of time out there, the, the extended amount, it, it can take its toll on you. Um, definitely will not be staying in the hotel again like I did, even though it was close right there at Paris. You know, they don't really have a true poker room. Bally's is being rebranded Horseshoe. Um, I believe their room is open now or going to be open here soon. They're at uh, former, formerly the Bally's uh, Casino, now the Horseshoe. Um, Paris doesn't have a poker room, but they're going to continue to host the World Series there, I believe, in Paris and Bally's. It was a great experience. Highly recommend if you can get a chance to go and play in some of the events, do it. Um, 
I was fortunate enough to be able to do it for six weeks. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to continue to do stuff like this on a regular basis. Um, wife has been supportive. Um, she's seen some of the events live and saw the craziness that was the Million Dollar Bounty and, um, you know, some of this life-changing money that was that was going around. And so she, she started to see that and, and see the possibilities and see me cash in some of the events. Um, pretty cool experience um, to, to be a part of those events and see those uh, things happen, you know, as they do, it's, it's just really exciting. Um, but more importantly, to learn from the players that you see are doing it on a regular basis, you know, the, the big names, but, uh, you know, even the grinders, you can tell the people that grind and get in there, and, you know, they're playing 2-5 and 5-10 on a daily basis, you know, and they're grinding out livings with it. Um, you know, that, that's not easy, obviously. Um, and so... Being honest with yourself and uh, learning, plugging your leaks every chance you get, and um, you know, practicing things, figuring out what works in different spots against different types of players. Um, you know, I just think it's all part of the game. So it's exciting to, to be a part of. Uh, poker's such a great game, and uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So, uh, said we're headed out to Mad River right now, and. Uh, as we get into uh, to Dayton there and we pull up to the club, we'll get some more shots and hopefully, uh, hopefully, maybe I'll see uh, see some of you out there.